My mouth is watering right now. Mm -hmm. Another delicious season of The Great American Baking Show is now out, so take a look. The standard last year was so good, so I'm expecting the same this year. You see the tent for the first time, and you just can't believe it. It's very surreal that the tent is right over there. America is such a large country that you can have such an eclectic mix of bakers. We want to see some real finesse, so we're making it as difficult as we can. Any words of advice you'd like to offer? You're going to need perfection. Okay. Competing on the show this season is a dentist from New York City, Jennifer Reyes, who joins us this morning. So good morning to you. Good morning. How are we doing? Doing good. So dentist by day, baker <laughs> by night. What made you want to say, you know what, I want to go on the show? I, you know, I've watched the show for a couple of years, and I just always thought, you know, I think I could do that. I think I could do that. And then I would just kind of go through the challenges. And then I thought, you know what, I bet I really could do that. And so I applied. And... And God, got are. accepted, yeah. yeah. Have you been baking your whole, like, since childhood? Or are you a new baker? No. Rel relatively new. Like, when I, when I first um, moved out of my parents' house and went, uh, you know, after college, I didn't really know how to, to bake anything. It's like, okay, I need to start learning. And I still really, really can't cook, but I really like to bake. I've always loved sugar. So, uh, <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. And you're a dentist. <laughs> and you're a dentist. What I think is yeah. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what was the experience like then? Oh, it was it was amazing. It was just like a, a month of you were in. The, we filmed in the UK, wow. so just getting to be with a bunch of other bakers who just really love to bake and want to share their passion with the rest of the world. How long have you been a dentist? Oh, too long. Like uh, uh, twenty almost years. Yeah. Okay, so you so you're self-taught baker. Yes. And then when did you really zero in on the craft? That you're like, okay, I can do stuff that's so good that I can compete. Amazingly, as I was building my dental practice, because it was very <laughs> anxiety producing. So one of my friends was like, oh, you should really watch the, the, the Great British Baking Show because mm -hmm. um, it's very relaxing. There's nice classical mm -hmm. music and British <laughs> accents. And so I'd be like, okay, cool. I'm going to watch that and, and fall asleep to it. But then I really got sucked in and I would like wake up the next morning. Like, I actually want to know what happened. Right. And then I started to think like, these are just like regular normal people. I bet I could do this too. And Love then I it. just started to be like, okay, let me see if I can. Well, what, then, yeah, what is the set like? Because it's an hour that we get to see, right? Oh, and yeah. it's all jam-packed. But what is it actually like when you're when you're there with everyone baking at their own stations, the intensity, the stress? What is that like? Um, it's So it's a kind of a long day. So you only get to see an hour, but the days are almost like 14 hours long. Wow. Because, 14 yeah, hours. Yeah. The time, they do give you a time amount, and that is very strict. They, you know, you start, and then when they say, like, an hour and a half, you have an hour and a half. So right. that is, is it. So I think most of the time you're just so focused on trying to get the baking done, you kind of forget that there's a lot of people yeah. there, that there's someone changing your mic while you're, like, mixing something up or, you know, whatever else. Yeah. So, so what would yeah. you bring today? Yeah, so this was actually my favorite thing that I baked um, for the show. These are meringue roulades. Mm. So they all have passion fruit curd and whipped cream. Um, and then the one on the end there that has pineapple, um, mm. this one has some strawberries, and then this one is just, just cream and curd. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what, what goes into this? Um, so it's just, it's, it's just like, it's just a meringue. So it's eggs and sugar, um, and then a little bit of vanilla, mm -hmm. and you just uh, whip it and bake it. Mm -hmm. And then some whipped cream. Um, I just use, honestly, just cream and a little bit of vanilla bean paste. And then, um, Passion fruit curd is just, yeah. You know, and they loved it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Prue, Prue really loved it. She oh. especially loved it. So. And what do you have yeah. with you? Yeah, so I have some more curd, and I have some whipped cream, so they're not decorated, um, and then some strawberries just to kind of decorate. Did you want to show us how you decorate? Yeah, yeah. So typically what I usually have a, a piping tip with me, but I, I, I forgot to pack it's it okay. with me. <laughs> but this is good because then you, can, you don't really need it. You can make your own, like, piping tip. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can just take some scissors. So I'm just going to do that here, and I'm just going to cut like a little triangle into oh, it. Yeah, yeah, so that you can kind of make the shape that you want to have. Right. And you can just you know, take it from the air. Okay. See, she is remarkably <laughs> calm, and I think that has to do with the dental practice. Because mm, you probably. have to be calm, so someone's right, not biting right, right. your fingers off. Oh, yeah, yeah, that happens. <laughs> Occupational <laughs> hazard, <laughs> definitely. So like, if I wanted to do this, you could just kind of, I'm so sorry. No, no, no you're good, no. do your thing. Um, yeah, just kind of, you could do whatever. Like, you could, usually what I like to do is just kind of make like a little, um, oops. Yeah, it's like a lot nicer with the piping tip. Okay. You could just do <laughs> like a little good. little rosette. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah but just the kind of that go you can down. do that without one. Yeah, without anyone can tip. do it. You don't need anything fancy. Mm -hmm. And then this again, just kind of snipped out. I like to put a little extra curd. I love. I love. love fruit curd. That's yeah. passion fruit curd. Yes, ma'am. That's my it favorite. Is. Oh, good. good. Oh, I love passion <laughs> yeah. fruit. Yeah. We'll just what is curd? Here. Oh, it is just a, egg. A, egg yolks, um, some sugar, and okay. some butter, and that's okay. it. Well, let's yeah. cut into this one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. 
Let's, Let's see. see. Uh, the t we got to do the taste test, you know. Yes. <laughs> that's what Hazel and I like you to know, do we, best. We, somebody's got to do it on the set. So someone's got to eat it, and then let's see. All right. Oh. Hold on. Okay. And of course, you can't tell us what happens. <laughs> no. Yeah, you have to watch it. But all episodes are available to stream now on the Roku channel. Okay. You can watch it online. You can watch it on an app. You yeah. can watch it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so very much. much. And. Mmm, so good. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's good. See, Thank meringue you. is good. Yeah. And, and I love passion fruit. I love yeah. sugar. Uh, <laughs> you can watch her compete on the Great American Bacon Show on the Roku channel. Great to have you here this morning, okay? Thank you so much. After we eat this, we'll come to dental practice. <laughs> exactly. We'll need it.